New at 10, neighbors gather in Chinatown to get answers after two men were murdered in a parking lot. Charges could come at any time in a double murder case that continues to rock the community. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross at the scene of the crime tonight. Jeremy? Well, Brad and Erica, police have increased patrols here in Chinatown, so you're likely going to see more squads out and about, which you will also see, at least at our current location, is a memorial. Plenty of flowers and candles and people stopping by. And you can also add surveillance video to the mix as well. Some very good video that the offender in this incident leaving the scene. CBS 2 obtaining video of a man running from a fatal shooting scene. Sources say he may be responsible for killing two men Sunday in a parking lot during a robbery turned tragedy. This kind of sent a sharp way to the community. Neighbors gathering to hear police updates and grieve. Many learning 36-year-old Wan Yi Bing and 38-year-old Wei Zhang Song were shot and killed. Devastating, angry, just terrible. Chris Wong knows the victims, calling them both hardworking fathers and calling the crime shocking. We are we kind of like just woke up to this. I thought, well, it actually happened. Police say the robbery took place at 2.13 in the morning as three people were in a car, including the two victims, both immediately refusing the robbers' demands. The gunman firing shots near Tan Court and Wells, the gunfire overheard by nearby cops who ran towards the scene. A source telling CBS2 the gunman took off west on China Place, making it to Archer Avenue, but was caught 13 minutes later. Police adding the crime followed the gunman from the scene. Apparent blood on his shoes at that time. Stand up and have a moment of silence. Police making a headline of their own, announcing a 20-year-old was charged with the murders. He have to face the law, but to us, it's not, it doesn't change anything. We're heartbroken. And while police have said that they have charged the shooter, no formal documents, at least at this point in time. Of course, all that could change in the hours ahead. In the meantime, a vigil is scheduled right here for Wednesday. Many are expected to attend. Live in Chinatown, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Brad, Erica. All right, Jeremy, thank you.